folks, how you doing? Pop and Yo here. I, uh, am starts what? Been out here in a little winter storm. New Mexico, Arizona, I 40. And boy, it seemed like I topped the hill back there. We went from freezing to 42. Not that I'm complaining. Bring it back on the deep roster and stuff. Uh, tell you what, I've often said that it's not me and my driving that I worry about out here, it's the other people. And I tell you, when we're in that, that bad weather, some of these modern day, new age truck drivers that have it all figured out, y'all pretty damn clueless. I mean, running on roads that are wet at the best patches of ice patches of packed snow you uh don't always have all of your lane and I was running about 60 it worked between 55 and 60 nice safe there was quite a few of us running like that but then you've got the hot dogs that have got to run 70 and 75 because that is the speed limit. I had a hazmat tanker pass me and another driver in front of me. We're literally on packed ice. Wind's blowing like crazy. I'm light. I only got 10,000 in the box, so I'm really light. And uh, that hammer lane over there, y'all know how it gets into bad weather. He didn't have much to be driving on, and he flew by us doing 75 plus miles an hour. I had Matt Tanker. Now a, come on car. Now a uh, state trooper was coming up behind him, and I and we just passed an accident where those three state troopers at that accident, which was a car, not a big truck. And the guy was okay, he just tore his car up real good. Uh, so I figured that old boy would come flying by there and Mr. State Trooper was going to bust the chops and educate him about driving too fast for road conditions. And that's what they get you on. It don't matter what that speed limit is. You're driving too fast for road conditions. But there was a whole lot of stupid like that. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Who are you impressing? What makes you think that load is in that big of a hurry? It's crazy. Uh, kind of like this driver over there. He stopped on the shoulder of the road walking his dog. Now right here at the bottom of the hill is a big old casino, Route 66 Casino, almost in Albuquerque. Plenty of truck parking. But instead of getting off here, he stops on the shoulder of the road to walk a dog. That's illegal as hell. And then they're gonna whine when they get busted. Oh, damn New Mexico. No, he was stupid and no stupid though. Uh, well, we lived in Georgia, Madison, Georgia. Drivers had the habit now there's truck stops all around. There's two of them anyway. Was three, but one of them got took out. Blah blah blah. Uh, instead of walking a block, maybe even a block and a half, depends upon which fast food you wanted to go to. They wouldn't walk from that pilot to go get whatever it is they're wanting to eat. Instead, they would get out in the street, four lane street, with a turn lane. They'd hit the turn lane, turn their four ways off, and get out and go get something to eat. The cops started ticking them. I started laughing. That ain't what the turn lane's for. Whether you like it or not, that ain't what it's for. Now, a lot of townships and whatnot will overlook it if you're delivering. If you stop there trying to figure out how to get into the place. You know, but to just stop there and go to get something to eat, now 
they frown on that, and rightfully so. So, there's my truck in education for you. Uh, subscribers are blowing and going, man. You remember at uh, New Year's, I was wanting to uh, get over 400. And uh, we barely made it. We made it just at midnight we got over it. So uh, that was a good deal. I was like, cool, all right. Well, uh, now I'm up to like 463. 21 days. And we're 63 over that 400 mark. Cool. I'm waiting on the five. Then I'll be waiting on the 750. Then I'll be waiting on the thousand. I'm just enjoying watching it. I really am. It's, it just blows this old hillbilly away. It's like, wow, cool. Uh, a lot of people leave a comment. I did that post last night. And, uh, you know, about a uh, historical, historical day. Somebody left a message in there this morning. I don't ain't sure if I recognize the name or not, to be honest with you, and I'm not going to go look and drive it. Uh, but they had said that uh, the working man has to be remembered, thought of, not forgotten in order for the country to succeed. Those, that's not verbatim. I had lived for them. And they are 100% right. That's uh, that's what's hurting us right now is losing all those jobs. And uh, Trump says he can make them come back. Well, before he even got in office, he was doing fairly decent in my opinion. And a couple of them companies did say the only reason they stayed or, or changed their mind and decided to build here and all that was because of Trump. So uh, that's cool. In my book, that's cool. if that's that observatory the looking at the stars telescope thing over there they said they had one here in New Mexico I'm wondering if that's it because it's damn sure on top of a little hill there uh, but yeah he's right uh, the little man has to be remembered and uh, my wife who's normally not into politics and the news at all. She uh, kept the TV on the news yesterday. And actually, she had it on this morning, too. Now, she did leave last night for a little while, went to her brother's. But uh, she said that uh, she heard on the news that she was watching Fox. And... Uh, Uh, 
last she heard, I think, was 217 people had got arrested. I was misspoken about that being Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter did have their place up there, and it looked to me what little bit I seen in the news that they was behaving. The uh, ones that I saw came wearing their little black stocking mask, and, and it looks like they came ready to create problems. And I never heard any of them proclaim who they was with. So, uh, I don't know. But I know a whole bunch of them got arrested and they're, they're evidently got pretty rough last night. I hope they start arresting them all over the country when they do that stuff. Red, uh, I think North Dakota. It's either North or South Dakota. They, uh, are exploring a law it ain't been even introduced yet somebody's writing it they heard about it that uh, man I hope I don't have more snow up here they are trying to make it more uh, how do you say it if there are protesters in the streets and road and they get hit accidentally it's a leniency towards the driver. Now, there's a bunch of Democrats that are hollering, oh, no, that gives them the opportunity to run them down. Really? And the writer of the bill, no, you need to reread it. So, uh, and, and he stated, and you got to agree with him, is that you have a right to protest but you do not have a right to block up all of the public's area. No, you ain't got it. Don't do it. Stop. Hard for me to argue with that one, too. No, I mean, it's a fact. If you want to protest and all that, fine. Go down to the courthouse and surround the courthouse or whatever public building that you're upset with, but whatever you're upset with, the common man trying to get back forth to work is not your problem. And the bullshit excuse of we're trying to bring uh, recognition to our cause, no hogwash. No. Let the work in person work. That's why we've got these interstates and stuff for us for people to go back and forth to work. This is not a private uh, area for you to protest. So this ain't your protest area. Uh, now I doubt that law will pass, but it should bring some attention to the problem. And the problem definitely needs to be addressed. Uh, let's see told you last night about the uh, uh, swearing in Pence Moore and the Department of De or Secretary of Defense and the Homeland Security. Uh, I watched the uh, first dance with President Trump and his wife and I had to work on how to pronounce her name. I'm terrible on that. My wife keeps telling me and she acts like it's easy. Speed limit that. reduced ahead. The speed limit's reduced ahead. Uh, and I'm gonna mute that because it's gonna you tell me about turns that are obvious or merging. I kind of enjoyed watching him uh, do the first dance thing. I got a chuckle out of it. Uh, and like I told the wife, look, he dances like I do. One step, three sways. One step, three sways, and just go around in a little circle. And the wife knows when she dances with me, that's how we're gonna dance. One or two steps, one or two steps, one or two. My version of square dancing, I guess. I'm not a dancer. I enjoy dancing with her, and you know, it is what it is. Now her brother, well her brother's a damn good dancer, to the country western and all that shit, and my wife used to. Well, 
all things. You know, just get after it and dance away. No. Oh. Let's see, is there anything else I can tell you? Uh, hopefully this is my last winter storm for a few years of this caliber. So I've got it hammered twice this year with it. That one in Denver and this one. This one wasn't that bad. It uh, really didn't hold me up. I stopped last night because the temperature was dropping so drastically. And I was a little scared of black ice because the roads were so wet. After I parked and logged out on my computer nonsense, my computer logs, the temperature warmed up. Go figure. And I was sitting there watching all kinds of traffic go by all night. Go figure. It did snow a little bit. And uh, I got up this morning to a real good dusting out there. Very little accumulation on the roads except where it was blowing. So, uh, nothing real bad on the roads. There are other few spots that you need to use a little caution. With me running from uh, our yard up there in, I guess that's northeast Oklahoma, up in that area. Uh, to the Houston area, I'll be running Texas, which will mostly be Houston, but not all. We get Brownsville, Laredo, San Antonio, that kind of stuff, and I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm not going to be seeing a whole lot of snow. Oklahoma does get some, but not as much as the Northwest. And I'm looking at this mountain right here, I'm eastbound on 40 by Coors Boulevard for you that know this area. And it just snowing to meet the band on top of that mountain. Yeah, I called 511 earlier and uh, I asked them punched in the stuff for where I wanted to go. Y'all know how that worked. And when I told it 40 East it just started laughing at me. And said, yeah right. Here I go. Okay, I might have ad libbed a little bit there, but it is what it is. So, uh, but that was their first thing in the morning report. So I knew that was all the overnight accumulations and whatnot. So it was telling me where the bad roads were, where the worst parts were. And uh, I took off, and yeah, I had to use a little bit of caution, but here I go. Now 47 degrees. All the stuff's falling off our trucks and making them a mess in Albuquerque. The uh, only other thing that I can tell you is that God loves you, and so do I. And be safe. Y'all have a great day now. Let's uh, see what the first full day of our new president brings for you. It'll be very interesting tonight. Yeah.